Hi everyone and welcome to Delphi's how-to video series. My name is Clay Pennington and I'm a senior product specialist here at Delphi Product and Service Solutions. First we'll have to lift the vehicle to access the fuel pump. Make sure you drain any of the fuel that's in the tank in an approved container. And check out our other videos on tank cleaning and tank replacement also. We always put safety first, so make sure you're thorough and careful and have safety glasses and gloves to work with. First we need to relieve the fuel pressure that's in the lines. In this case, I'm going to remove the fuel pump relay and start the engine until the car dies. So what I'm doing now is I'm just loosening the tank attaching strap bolts to a point where there's only a few threads left. So when we get ready to drop the tank, we don't have to spend all day here trying to do this. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm removing some of these fuel line uh, harness clips from the shield because the shield has to come down with a fuel tank in this model. Some vehicles use special clips and removal tools to remove the lines. In this case, uh, they're just push type and you push them back and forth and to release them. But a lot of manufacturers are different, so you have to check with service information to find out if you need a special tool to release those, uh, release those lines. So in this case, I have a catch container to uh, catch any fuel that might leak out after releasing that pressure. But uh, it's always safe to have some kind of approved container to catch that extra fuel. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm relieving, uh, releasing the lines so the pressure and return line go up to the front of the vehicle. And uh, this is where you have some uh, gas that may drip out, so just be careful. Got a proof container there for catching the gas. So I'm just finishing, I got my support jack underneath here to support the tank. And I'm just finishing removing these, uh, the bolts. I'm take the bolts out. So I've got my assistant here, Jeff. He's gonna help me uh, maintain control of this tank when we lower it down. First, we're gonna remove these rest of these straps here. Usually there's some type of a hook in there. See the hook that where it goes in there? And they both come out. We'll set these off to the side. Okay, so now we've got the jack supporting that and the straps off. We're going to slowly lower it to see uh, what else might be holding up on top. We still, I know we still have to take off the electrical connectors for the pump and uh, see if there's any other lines on top that have to come off of there. So let's not shake it down too much. Let's see what else is catching up here. There's more lines I have to disconnect, and you're going to run into this. Some additional lines that have to be disconnected. Fuel lines, evapor emission lines. You know, it can be just, it can be two to um, for a couple of return lines. It could be one, one, one electrical connector. But uh, sometimes there can be a lot more. Each, into each component is different, each car manufacturer is different, so I want to make sure that um, you look at the service information to find out what your vehicle specific application uh, is for. Yep. There we go. Okay. So now it looks we have all of our electrical connectors undone, all of our fuel lanes and vapor lines all unconnect disconnected, and we can Lower this all the way down and then place it on the ground. You ready? Yep. We're going to set it. Right yeah. So these are electrical connectors that we uh, disconnected. One's for the fuel tank uh, pump. And the sending unit, yellow ones for a fuel tank pressure sensor for the EVAP emission system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our how to series videos that can help save you time and money in your shop every day.